So by now we have filtered our aligned sequences, trimmed the sequence alignment, and we still have a little bit of cleaning to do before we can proceed to classification. So in this tutorial we look how to remove sequencing errors and chimeras. After watching this video you will know how pre-clustering works, what chimeras are, and how to remove them. So the aim of pre-clustering is to remove sequencing errors. And we make the assumption that abundant sequences are more likely to generate sequencing errors. So we rank the, sequencing, the sequences in order of their abundance. And then we walk, walk through the list looking for rare sequences which differ only by X number of bases from the original one. The recommendation is to allow one mismatch for every 100 base of sequence. So when we find sequences which differ only this much, we merge them to the original one. The tool in Chipster is called Precluster Aligned Sequences and is based on the Mazur Precluster 6 command. So as input you give the FASTA file and the count table from the previous step. And as result files you get the pre-clustered aligned sequences, the matching count table, and the summary file. After that we remove chimeras. So chimeras are artifact sequences uh, formed by two or more biological sequences, and they arise in the PCR amplification. So if there is incomplete extension during PCR, then in the subsequent PCR cycles, uh, they can use the, a partially extended strand to bind to the template of a similar sequence. And then the partially extended strand then acts as a primer to extend and form a chimeric sequence. Um, and there can be as many as 30% of the sequences from mixed template environmental samples, which are chimeric. The tool in Chipster is called Remove Chimeric Sequences and is based on the Mature commands Chimera UCHIM and Chimera Vsearch. In this tool you need to make several choices. So one choice is obviously between the method, so UCHIM or Vsearch. Then you also need to choose whether you want to use a reference or detect chimeras de novo. The reference in Chipster is the bacterial subset of the silver gold uh, 16S ribosomal RNA set. If you go for the de novo approach, then the tool will use the more abundant sequencing, sequences in your data as the reference. Uh, for the de novo approach, you, you also need to then decide if you want to dereplicate de or not. And so what this means is should we remove a chimera only from the sample where it was spotted? If you say true, it means that yes, we remove the chimera only from that sample. And, and if you set it to false, it means we remove the chimera from all the samples. So essentially you can think about the dereplicate true as do not replicate and the replicate force as replicate to other samples. In the MySeq sub, the developer of Mathur recommends setting this to true because otherwise the effect can be rather harsh. As input files, you give the pre-clustered FASTA and the corresponding count table. And as result files, you get uh, the FASTA file, the count table, and a summary file. Now you need to realize that the results depend heavily on the method and the reference used. So I give a, a small example here. So I have started off with uh, roughly 6,000 unique sequences and then I did the camera removal using various combinations. So we search with either the reference or de novo and you come that the reference or de novo. So first of all, you can notice that there are actually quite big differences in the running time. So research is very fast. 
uh, especially the UCOM with the reference tends to be very slow. But now let's look at the results. So with research and the silver reference, there are some cameras removed, but not that many, maybe roughly 700. However, if you use the de novo approach, a lot of sequences are removed, more than half. And then on the other hand, using the UCAM method and the silver reference is very gentle. So the, the difference between these two is not large. But if you use UCAM and de novo, it's still relatively gentle if compared to the research and de novo method.